Line drive to second. It'll be snagged by Brady Day. All three hits were doubles. Bunting, and it's caught by Borova. What a play. Ball four, another pitch high. That's already three walks from Owen. Swing and a miss. Hester strikes out. So Borama gets his first strikeout. Curveball jolted out towards left. Racing back is Hester. And it is off the top of the wall. Goodwin slides it a second with a double. Now Kyan Lotus. And he'll drop a bunt down. Good bunt. We'll move the runner to third. So the sacrifice puts K State with a runner. The first runner comes home to throw up the line, and Goodwin will be out. And he'll strike out on a high fastball. So K State gets a leadoff double from Nick Goodwin. Upper right of our score bug. Culpepper able to take care of Coleman for the second time. One out here in the third. Money gets the fastball past Harrelson. That's the second strikeout for Borama. The thing about it is he hasn't really been that close when he's missed. No. 3-1 pitch that came down on the plate. Pazell drops into the left field. He's two for two. Runner goes. The pitch is up. Pelletier's throw is a bit high. And Goodwin's tag not in time. So Pazell able to swipe second from Pelletier was high. Doesn't matter as Cash will swing and miss. Strikeout number three for Borova. He works around another two out. Well, that high fastball, Pena elevated, went after, and now Molina with back to runs. It'll get Jones to swing and miss for the second time and already four punch out on the year. Slow roller to second. Could be a one, two, three inning. Green sidearm throw to first and the tag applied by Cash. Each team will play two out-of-conference series. Oh, wonderful off-speed pitch by Borama, and he strikes out his fifth in Austin. Ground ball up the middle, and he'll find a base hit. So Nolan Hester, 0 for 2 on the day, able to single up the middle, and Hester has now reached base for the 30th straight. Three ball count for a Red Raider hitter, and he'll earn another walk. Borama has walked four. Swing and a miss instead. Slider away. And a base hit here to right. This could be the first run of the game. Rougely's throw coming in will be cut off, but not in time. And a two-out RBI from Kevin Bazell gives the first few innings. Ground ball left side will find a hole through K-State's shifted infield. And that'll get another run in. Again, took slow roll to short. Goodwin having to deal with the runner in front, still able to make the play and end the inning. Johnson, a solid single in the right. The lead off base hitter, a lead off runner for the Wildcats on the base of Molina, who has not shown any ability to walk anyone. Johnson taken off right away, and he's able to get to second in time. See if Texas Tech elects to challenge. He will bunt third base side. Great bunt. And Molina unable to make a play. Two one sky towards center. The wind's going to hold this up, but this should be deep enough. Now Carter coming in behind the ball. And with, again, the injury, Carter doesn't quite look like the same guy throwing the ball in. He's content to throw it in. Not going. And a 3-2. Strike three call to the outside corner. Hanging breaking ball. Pumped out towards left. Today, not a problem. Hester makes the grab. That's the out that ends the fifth. Draft. Tyree Wilson of Texas Tech was taken early in the game or in, early in the draft last night by the Raiders. Two. He will bunt again, charging Brady Day, and he will make the play to first. Follically challenged myself. I have an appreciation 
<laughs> for the lo the uh, locks. The Count troubles he had. Ground ball could indeed be the inning. Brady Day will have to hustle, and he does get his man at first. So Owen Borma works around. Jammed, Day pops it up towards shallow center, and the wind will knock it back towards Green at second base. Culpepper able to jam one out towards right field, and he's got a two-hit game. And the key was the pitch was elevated, but uh, chance for the Cats maybe to do something. Good one, able to line one over the shortstop's head. Back-to-back -back hits by K-State. Now they've got two on, one out. And Goodwin, like Culpepper, a two-hit game. Lotus out to left field, and a diving attempt made and catch by Hester. He's hitting seven straight. And a ball bouncing into home plate. Gets away from Maxi. Runners will advance. And a fastball grounded towards short. Lopez will take care of that. And the inning comes to an end. K-State threatens on the fastball. Coleman swings and misses at one up and away. Good start for... And a ground ball rake to Brady Day. He's had a busy night. Two gone. That pitch actually was over the middle of the plate a little. Ty Rule looking for a 1-2-3 inning. Got one in on the hands of Bazell. It gets another ground out to Brady Day. So a successful the slider here. Yes, and Pelletier able to stay on it. Drop it out into right field. Another fastball. Peeney hits it in the air to right. The wind's going to carry this, and it is gone! A home run! You could see him working, just trying to keep those hands in, trying to get that pitch that he could leverage out to right field. And again, that's the place you're. The field in K State, that's the first time we've seen that oversized hat. Jones out to center field will fly out. Out number one here in the seventh. But though, three to two, K State. Rugely up the middle. That'll find its way through, and the Wildcats. Have not been fooled by Ryan Free. Boy, that was an excellent job of hitting. That was a sl 0 2. Slow roller towards second to the bag for one. Fire to first. It gets by the first base bag, but there is not much foul ground here at Toynton Family Stadium. And it's two weeks. Runner goes. Swing and a miss by Culpepper. An easy stolen bag for Rouge Lee, number 13. Got interference. He swung and then fell across the plate, and contact was made by the catcher. Hmm. Have to stay in the box on that. So Culpepper is out, and the inning is over. And he walked it. And Texas Tech has earned. To first, Pena, throw to second, double play! The 3-2, ground ball to short, good one. K-State wins the opening game. A series that may define K-State's postseason chances begins with a win.